It's true to say nobody wants an eyesore in their neighborhood, but what if you were falsely accused of creating one and wrongly put on the hook for $1,500 in fines? Well, consumer investigator Jason Nels and the I-Team helped sort out a very big city mistake. Jason. Cheryl, it's hard enough to take care of your own home, let alone someone else's property. One local man says he was wrongly accused of creating a mess he didn't make, the home not even his. Then the I-Team answered his call about false fines. So we're walking up to this so-called nuisance house, facing a lot of violations, and it's not yours. It's not mine. Benjamin Neal has been in the weeds, battling false fines over weeds, which aren't even growing at his own home. They sent the information to the wrong address. He owed $1,242 in city fines, which jumped to $1,559 after the city of Chicago sent a debt collection law firm after him. He's at a high weeds in his side yard. The violation is on the side of a West Chesterfield neighborhood home, which isn't his. The system is not working. It's broken. It's not working for me because that means I'm paying for somebody else's stuff, and I don't think anybody in the world want to pay for somebody else's liability or responsibility. The home in question is a few doors down from Neal's. A city inspector from Chicago Streets and Sanitation included pictures of that home in that violation documentation. But there's a problem. My address is on the paperwork. Neal's address and name were somehow associated with the city's images of the home with those weeds. And we checked too, and you're not on the deed. That's right. I'm not on a deed. This is Neil's home, fairly tidy with no weeds. And this is your house. Right. I got an air condition there. You know, my house is totally different. I got mulch in the backyard. And they don't even show the backyard over there. He says he even tried to explain in a city court hearing, but had no luck. I've gone to the court, so I don't know about all the legal systems of calling them or anything any more than that and then and then filing for the appeal you know so neil turned to the i team we brought his case to chicago streets and sanitation department a spokesperson for the city's law department agreed with the i team's findings saying the city of chicago is moving to vacate this judgment and void the fine in this case after a review of the facts it was discovered that an error was made while determining the owner of the property the city has been in touch with Mr. Neal about this issue and apologizes for the mistake. I'm just a regular citizen trying to make it out here in this world, that's all. The city added that it processes more than 40,000 title searches annually without error. However, the Office of the Inspector General recently discovered other problems with the ticketing process, saying the city's law department takes an average of nine months after a violation occurs to actually issue a notice or a warning to the offender. If you think you're being wrongly ticketed, call the I-Team hotline 312-7507-TIP. You can also email the I-Team consumer unit directly by going to my Facebook page, Jason Knowles, ABC7. Now the city says that this was a rare mistake, but definitely a headache for our caller. I guess so. Yeah. Glad he had you to straighten it out, that's for sure. A lot of money. Yeah, all right, Jason, thank you.